Hey, what's up guys? Well, of course it's time for a new EDC update. What's EDC mean, man? Well, it means everyday carry. Welcome to the channel and the community since everyone uses that term. Yes, everyday carry, which is, I guess, a vague or loose description since these things change all the time for me and for a lot of you guys too. Certain things I do literally just carry every day, same old stuff, which we'll get out of the way right away. Cell phone doesn't change. Cell phone case, that Magpul case, I like it, works well. Uh, if I get dressed up, I have like a J. Crew leather case, but besides that, this is what I use. That's pretty much it. That's truly an EDC item. Besides that, the wallet, <clears throat> the big skinny wallet. Still really like this. I will do a review on this in the future. Um, but in the wallet, I still have the lockpick set that I did a review on, that cheapo lockpick set, which is very nice. And the newest edition, which you guys have not seen yet, and there will be a review on, is a Mike Snowdy Crisis card, which is sweet. So you will definitely see a review on this. I like this. It's an awesome little uh, backup tool slash, you know, get out of jail free card in case you uh, get into some bad business so you don't have anything else on you. But anyway, that's the newest edition. You will see more information on that in the future. Speaking of Mr. Snowdy, Mr. Awesome Mike Snowdy, I have another knife. I have not been EDCing, but I'm using it in the kitchen. This is the Karma Kozuka BG42. And I have to say, sharpest knife I've used all year by far. Probably the sharpest knife I've used in the last couple of years, to be honest. This thing is screaming sharp. So I will be doing a review of this uh, in the future, but it's an awesome, awesome knife. I like this paracord uh, Mike's using. It's got, it looks almost like a glow-in-the-dark weave mixed in with that, but it's not. It's actually rubber. It's like a, like a rubberized material. It feels amazing as a wrap. So uh, this paracord is a complete winner. <laughs> this is probably the best paracord ever to be using for a, uh, a handle wrap on a knife. So just uh, superb, absolutely superb. I'll be talking about this more in the future, but that's an awesome, awesome knife so um watch still rocking the uh the g watch <laughs> the g watch the g shock thank you um and that's exactly what time it is right now because it keeps very nice time <laughs> i'm making this video right now uh works well what else let me get this out of the view because you guys are going to be tempted to stare at that the whole time and this let's get that out of the view so i know what we're doing here whoa open the camera so i'm doing uh keys the new car key, I hate these bulky keys because it has the alarm stuff on it, but it is what it is. So I talked about this a million times before, but if you haven't seen it, I use a little modular system. Uh, if I'm going to work, if I'm getting a ride to work or riding my bike to work or walking or for whatever reason I'm not using my car, I just unclip this key because it is quite bulky. I use this little uh, crab claw. I got that from uh, County Com, but you can find these on eBay, very uh, similar design. And now I just have uh, smaller keys. Have a couple, you know, the barcode things for, for stores, food stores, stuff like that, gas savings. A um, couple keys. I have the uh, Spider Co. Grasshopper on here with the cutlery lever on there. This was a gift from a viewer, which is amazing. And I use it all the time. Thank you very much. Um, and I still have the Pico Widgie Bar, little pride bar. And this thing has a beautiful patina on it now, and I use this all the time. When I don't want to really mess up my knives, I'm talking about when you're doing the scraping and the prying and stuff, this is what you really need. They'll be doing that with your cool blades. All right, so that's that. The blades, I'm, I'm leaving this to the end on purpose. Okay, you will see that in a minute. The Talon knife, I've been carrying this every single day. You guys know lately, over the, I say lately, but probably the last three months or four months, I've been uh, carrying a neck knife every single day. I love it, I love the extra option. It's fantastic. Um, this particular one, you're going to see a review on very soon. I promised I'd uh, do a video on this, and uh, I will certainly be doing that. So you'll hear all about my thoughts. I don't want to say it in this video because it's going to be left for the review. But I can tell you I like it. As I do most knives. I like most sharp things, but yes, uh, right off the bat, I do really like this knife. But we'll talk about more of that in the future. Here, I have a Mantis knife. This is the... Vuja Day, and this is that Balasong Karambit mix. Very interesting knife, I have not forgotten about this. Started to carry it a lot again recently, so I can eventually do a review on it for you guys. So this will be coming up soon. As well as another Mantis Karambit. I've only EDC'd this a couple times because I 
I already EDC'd it in the past and I found my notes on it. I never did a review on that, so we'll see a review on both of these knives in the near future. Okay. And, last but not least, the gun in the holster. Now, the reason I'm very excited about this is because I started carrying my Glock 36 again. Let's unload this for you so everyone feels nice and safe. Take out this holster. Nothing in there. Promise. We'll even do this so you feel like you're safe. The holster. What a beautiful holster. Now, I'm not going to tell you who this is yet. Who made this? Because I found the score of a lifetime. This is by far the coolest, nicest holster for the least amount of money I've ever seen. 50 bucks, and I honestly can't find anything better. I like this so much, I'm getting a holster made for my, um, my little revolver. My um, uh, 617, Tour 617, the 357 Magnum, little snub nose. I love that gun, and I want uh, kind of a classy version. I, I got this one in all black, the other one you're gonna see. The reason I'm not telling you who this is made by, let me show you the back and cover the makers mark here. Um, it's because the guy is going on vacation or he has business, I forget exactly what it was, but he's not gonna be around for the next, uh, I think, week or two. And um, once I mention who this is, of course you guys may be interested and you wanna go over there and order them and he's not gonna be around. So you will see a review on this once uh, the guy's able to start making some more, which will hopefully be very soon. But this carries wonderfully. The craftsmanship is amazing for 50 bucks. I really could not be happier. Um, they custom do everything, obviously. It's a custom handmade sheath for 50 bucks. It's really, really hard to beat. So I'm extremely happy with that. Haven't carried the Glock 36 in a while, just because my old holsters, they were kind of, eh, they weren't so bad, they worked. Um, I, I had a Colster for it, if you remember those, the, uh, uh, the carry holsters, they were called Colster. Um, I have a review on those in the past. I had a the Santi uh, inside the waistband, which I really liked. That was the brown one. I had a couple different ones. Uh, you know, over the last year or two. But this one, by far, my favorite, hands down. So now I'm starting to carry the, uh, the Glock 36 again because of that, which is awesome. So, that's the gun and holster. And that concludes the EDC for now. So thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your time as always. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.